I want to be a software engineer, but I'm terrible at math. Do I need to improve my math skills to become an engineer? I have never had to use any of the mathematics we were taught at uni. So if this is your only reason not to get into software engineering, I wouldn't worry at all. Hi, I'm Iris. I'm a software engineer. I'm also bad at doing intros, so we'll just start right away. I get a bunch of questions on my past videos. And while scrolling through YouTube, I realized that a lot of them were asked multiple times. So I thought I might collect them and make a video out of it to answer them once and for all. If you enjoy these types of videos and want to see more of them, let me know. I'm thinking about making this a recurring thing maybe. Anyways, let's start with the first question. Is the starting salary as a junior developer 100,000 Swiss francs and above? I can only speak for Switzerland here and I have no idea how much they pay you at Google and Facebook, but I'd say that for the other regular companies, 100,000 is definitely a myth, assuming you're right out of university and this is your first job. From my personal observation during job interviews, I would say the normal range is somewhere in between 70 and 85,000. And I assume it's a bit higher if you have a master's degree. I saw a lot of people asking on other YouTubers' videos if a bad GPA is detrimental. And I wanted to include this as well because I know that so many students are concerned about this. Let me reassure you, it's not as important as you think. I was in the same shoes and my grades were definitely not the best. So to all the people concerned about this, go get some internships and do side projects because HR people are more interested in your motivation and your willingness to learn new things than your grades. Can you please make a video about how you got the job offer in Switzerland as a junior software engineer? I made a whole video about how I became a software engineer, which explains the interview process in a bit more detail. You can find the link in the description box. But to give a short answer to this question, I had to go through multiple steps of the application process, which usually includes one interview in which they want to get to know you as a person, followed by one or more technical interviews where they ask a bunch of technology related questions and they give you problems to solve. What is better, front-end or back-end? For those of you who don't know what front-end and back-end means, in very simple terms, front-end is what the user sees and interacts with, while back-end is everything that works behind the scenes, such as servers or databases. If you're a front-end developer, you often work with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and frameworks such as Angular or React, if you're a backend developer, you might work with Java, Python, C or Ruby, for example. There are also people working in both frontend and backend and they are called full stack developers. To answer the question, which one is better? It totally depends on your personal preferences and interests. There is no right or wrong answer to this. I'm working as a backend developer, but partly because I don't have a lot of knowledge in frontend. I know JavaScript, but I haven't worked with any of the popular frameworks yet. What programming languages do you use in your job? In my current job, I use Java, which is also my personal favorite. In my past internships, which I did, I have also worked with Python and JavaScript. Do you need to go to college to become a software engineer? No, you don't. The tech industry is one of the only high paying industries where having a degree is not a requirement. There are actually a lot of great tools and online courses out there that can help you become a developer. I personally know people who are self-taught and I also work with some on my team. However, it takes a lot of discipline and in the beginning you will most likely not get paid as much as someone with a degree. So it is definitely possible but it's not as easy as just watching a couple online courses on Udemy because once you apply for a job, you need to prove that you know just as much as a college graduate, especially regarding things such as software architecture and algorithms, for example. And you also need to show them some side projects you did to show your motivation. Is software engineering worth it or does it take years to get a job? 
Now, tech is one of the fastest growing industries and I know from friends who have their own companies or who work in HR that it is very difficult to get good employees, so the demand for software engineers is very high. If you're a motivated person who's willing to learn new things and who is a team player, your chances of getting a job are very good. Obviously, I can only speak for Europe here, especially Austria, Germany and Switzerland. In my university, it was the case that even the students who quit studying after their first or second year got a job right away. I want to be a software engineer, but I'm terrible at math. Do I need to improve my math skills to become an engineer? I would say that the majority of actual software engineer jobs does not require a lot of maths at all. Unless you want to work in fields like graphics programming, you will get by with basic calculus. And if I'm being honest, I have never had to use any of the mathematics we were taught at uni. So if this is your only reason not to get into software engineering, I wouldn't worry at all. Alright, those were all questions for today. Comment down below if you have some more and you want me to answer them in another video. I hope you're having a great day and see you next time.